something we look forward to after this exhausting week. Uh, you, know, you know, being a uh, little brother in this league for the last few years, we get a chance to talk to some of the other little brothers, and then also uh, tie the big shoes or the the big dog shoes to the chair, <laughs> Coach Clark. So when he's called up here, give him a look over here because he's he's in for a surprise, I think. Uh, with uh, the MAC this year, we're very excited, and I'm very excited to see the progression. I think there's a uh, unreal amount of individual talent in this league. Uh, obviously playing here myself in the MAC, along with some of the other coaches that I know have, uh, you know, it's, it's pretty rare to find one or two Division I talents. Uh, and I think, you know, it's hard to count how many Division I and Division II talents we have, let alone the unknown uh, players that, that are, if I know there's quite a few of them um, that, that are going to emerge a little bit this year as well, too. As far as Muscatine is concerned, I, I really am excited to have my group together. I, I don't know what we're going to offer this year. Um, to be perfectly honest, we had kind of a disappointing team progression in the offseason. Uh, I thought we needed to play a lot of games together, build some chemistry, and for several reasons we didn't have that. So we're probably a little bit behind uh, some other schools. We're definitely going to be shorter. I think we have a, we have a little project in us, a great kid in a 6'6 six 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 sophomore in Duncan Snyder that's coming up and joining our team this year. Uh, he's got some work to do, but he's progressing nicely. But um, our next tallest guy is 6'2". I think we have maybe one or two of them, and I think everyone else is just about six foot or under. So um, I've always said that I'd rather build around a guard, but uh, now that I'm in this position, I don't know. We'll have to see. Uh, I'd rather have both, I think. That's the key. Uh, we do have some some... That being said, I think we do have some solid pieces back. Uh, we, we have, I think this year, more quantity in the overall fundamental player and uh, the overall shooter. So I think we have four guys this year that, uh, four or five guys that I think are a little bit more fundamental with the ball, four guys that can stroke it when they get hot. So that should uh, add to some pieces for us. We're gonna try some new things, I think, with, with uh, those pieces. And uh, one guy I wanna highlight is Adam Miller. He's a, probably our only returning starter. I think we only returned about 10 total points per game. Uh, he averaged about nine last year. That kid has some high level skill. He's very undersized. Obviously, I think he's only 5'11", but he's very, he's probably got Division II, Division I skill. Um, this summer we did a consecutive free throw contest where we chartered him the whole summer and whoever made the most uh, Got a certain prize. I won't share all the details on that. It was a, it was a WWF championship belt, but uh, <laughs> might sound corny to a few people, but the kids liked it. Uh, I think we got up to 25 30. It held there for a week, and then uh, Adam made 100 consecutive free throws in a row. Uh, so he, he can stroke it. Uh, he's improved uh, other aspects of his game quite a bit. He's going to be joined. We had some other part time starters by Kyle Calvert, who's a senior. Uh, he'll probably play forward for us at 6'2". Uh, Spencer Beatty has played with the varsity. This will be his third year. He's a junior. Uh, he's a part-time starter for us last year. The thing that I think I like the most about uh, the state of our program right now is we've always said we've never had that year where we've had juniors that have gotten a lot of time and can play again their senior year. So we haven't had a lot of that carryover. And I think we have some newcomers this year where next year we should have four or five guys that uh, have had some varsity experience. Uh, so we're going to get their feet into the fire a little bit this year, and I think they're going to be able to help us a little bit this year as well. Uh, Matt Wieskamp, who's uh, the uh, quarterback for our football team. Um, Drew Witchers, who is actually the son of our uh, assistant coach, Joel, is on the, the program, really fundamental player as well, too. Uh, so you know we're looking to uh, pr continue to progress, and hopefully we can uh, compete and look forward to competing with uh, the big brothers and the little brothers in the conference. And uh, good luck to everyone.